We're in Rosen section 5.2 on strong induction and well ordering. Here we have an example of a proof that we'll do by strong induction, followed by uh, proving the same uh, statement using mathematical induction. All right, here's what we're going to prove that every amount of postage, 12 cents or more, can be formed just using 4 cent and 5 cent stamps. All right, um, that's our propositional function is P sub N, and that is that postage of N cents can be formed with four cent and five cent stamps. I'm gonna have four basis cases for this one, P12 through P15. I have to prove, I have to prove each one individually, so we'll step through that. Why is P12 true? Well, if P12 is true because I can uh, form 12 cents with three four cent stamps. Is P13 true? Yes, it is. Two four cent stamps and one five cent stamp will make 13 cents. P14, two five cent and, two, and one four cent stamp. And then P15 uses three five cent stamps. And we had to use, we had to prove this number of basis steps because we're going to use a reach back technique with this four cent stamp. All right, so that's our basis uh, case proven. Now let's state our inductive hypothesis. And that is that PJ holds for all integers between 12 and K, where K is an arbitrary integer greater than or equal to 15. So PJ starts at the bottom of the basis, but PK starts at the top, or K starts at the top of the basis. And then we want to show that PK plus 1 holds. Well, let's think about um, PK plus 1. What about the amount of postage 4 cents lower than K plus 1? That would be K minus 3. And by the inductive hypothesis, since K minus 3 is greater than 12 because of the size of our basis, then PK minus 3 is true. And so whatever the postage is for K minus three, I would add four cents stamp to get K minus one postage. And therefore I can conclude that PN holds for all N greater than or equal to 12. All right, um, so let's take a look at this same uh, statement from mathematical induction standpoint. Prove uh, any postage 12 cents or more can be made using 4 cent or 5 cent stamps. There's PN again. And then my basis is small. I'm just going to do postage of 12 cent stamps using 3 4 cent stamps. So P12 is true. That's a T. Okay, inductive step. So our inductive hypothesis is that PK is true for an arbitrary positive integer k greater than or equal to 12. And we want to show that pk plus 1 is true. Well, there's going to be two cases for this. In the first case, if I've got a 4 cent stamp in the solution for pk, all I have to do is replace it with a 5 cent stamp, and I get k plus 1 uh, postage for k plus 1 cents. On the other hand, what if there are no four cent stamps? Well, since the my basis is 12, if we have no four cent stamps, then we must have at least three five cent stamps. And we replace three five cent stamps with four four cent stamps to get K plus one postage. And those are two exhaustive cases and uh, since they both follow from the inductive hypothesis, where Pn holds for all n greater than or equal to 12. So when we use um, mathematical induction, we have a simpler basis case, but a potentially more complicated uh, inductive step. Whereas using the strong induction, we had a more complicated basis step and a much simpler inductive step.